Hello, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's having an outstanding day. I am having an outstanding day because the sun's shining today and I mean, why not? Why not have an outstanding day? Make every day an outstanding day as much as possible. Um, John is at the license branch, so he is probably not having an outstanding day. But me, on the other hand, I have this whole office to myself again. It's nice and quiet. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this awesome wall mural behind me. I'll show you, uh, maybe I'll show you the whole thing so you can see it. We had um, our good friend and graphic designer slash marketer slash everything make that for us, uh, Jack Adams at Safari. So if you guys have any needs for anything as far as that stuff goes, Jack is the best. Most of you probably know him. So reason for my video today is I was asked a question earlier this week and it stumped me and that doesn't happen too often as you guys probably know so i wanted to share it with you and also kind of challenge you to um, think of the same so the question was what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail right i mean like i have no idea so i got to thinking for a couple of minutes because i thought that's probably a valuable lesson Take off, you know, all the insecurities and fear and all of that stuff. And what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? So I'm going to share with you what I would do. Um, it's kind of multi-level, but um, I would love to be a lawyer. And I think that would be just the coolest uh, profession. And um, I'm very good at probably some negotiation and uh, arguing is probably my some of my strengths. So I think I'd be really good at it and I would love it. Um, I have a little guy at home, so that's probably what's holding me back from that the most is I don't wanna spend um, too much time away from him and I think that if I do something, I have to be like all, all in. Um, when I went to college as an adult, it was like I'm either doing this the best and I'm getting the best grades and graduating with the best honors or I'm not gonna do it. So I'm head first as soon as I get into something, um, but sometimes it takes some some talking into for me to get there but so that's the reason that I'm not doing it uh, mostly but I also realized that I'm scared I guess I, I would be scared to not do really well um, so that's that's the answer to my question what would I do if I knew I could not fail and that would be um, I would go to law school and get and get a degree uh, I've talked to a couple lawyer friends who've discouraged me from that as well it, it's not all it's cracked up to be but um, who knows? I guess we'll dream. And it's never too late. Uh, my mom graduated college when she was 50 with an intense amount of honors, and um, it's never too late. So whether you, and I didn't graduate college until I was 28 or 20, no, I think I was, I was 30. I was almost 30. So it's never too late. So if you feel like you want to do something and you think, oh, it's too late, it's not. Go do it, man. Grab life by the horns, as they say. They say something else, but I'll keep it clean for the camera. Grab it by the horns. Go do it. That's what I say. I think that that's a good example, too, for our children and anyone else that's watching us because people are always watching is to do, just go do it. Um, life's short, and it can, it can be sh even shorter sometimes for people, unfortunately. So live every day and, you know, just go do it. So that's my little uh, PSA today, if you will. And I'm also curious because I want to hear from you guys. I love hearing from you guys with the comments. Um, it, it's awesome to me. I've really gotten to know quite a few of you a lot more, which is awesome. So let me know. Question. If you knew you would not fail, what would you do? So don't forget, drop the comments, and we'll talk soon.